All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be going over the two row planter I just built and uh, see how she operates today. So stick with us. Corn coming at you, y'all. working pretty decent but here in this spot I'm not gonna plant corn from uh, from here down to the other side of this tree I like to use this as like a licking branch down here so I want to keep that open for shots so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna lift her up and go to the other side of these trees over here So it's working freaking great. Love it. It's covering it up pretty good. See, like, covering it up. Oh, really good. I mean, there's a seed here and there, but covering it up pretty good. Working well. <clears throat> but I left, left my blind there because it's just a pain in the ass to move it right now. And I'm just gonna plant right up to it and around it and uh, just do the same thing I did last year. Worked out freaking awesome. And I said I didn't plant corn. I stopped planting corn right here at this tree and started planting it right here. Left that spot open right there. Deer used that as a, like a freaking highway coming up through there. They got a branch right there where they rub and scrape on. So let's keep on playing here. Thank you. 
I can get to this blind up here. show you what we all got done here so far I've got uh, probably one two four six eight ten put put about ten rows in going all the way around and I put some in front of the in front of the blind there corn here. went all the way around like I did last year left that spot open and um, put this down here in all corn right there you can see a stick let's see if I can zoom in on it right there that stick right there that's sticking up everything past that stick is all corn so there's a good bit there probably three quarters of an acre maybe if I had to guess Maybe an acre. And then the rest I'm gonna put in all beans in the middle. And I'm gonna do a little spot with uh, turnips in here too as well. Probably do, like I was talking about last year, but never did. Make a strip all the way down that connects to here in the middle. And then a strip that goes from here down to there. And uh, make it probably four feet, four foot wide and just put turnips right in that and uh, see how it goes. But really satisfied with how this performed today. <clears throat> Worked really well. Worked really good, I'm satisfied with it. So if you guys see anything on here that needs to be changed or you'd like to see changed or something that would make my life easier, you know, let me know. Drop her in the comments. Let me know what you think, guys. Alright, so that'll be it for the video today. Definitely pretty pleased how this turned out. Worked really, really well. Like I said, did the majority of this end all in corn. And then when it gets closer to the late season, I'm actually just I'm gonna bring the mower up here and mow it. But I'm gonna leave the corn around the edge standing. Put this end down here in beans. On the middles here, kind of like a little highway for them, I guess, if you will. A little more greens, and uh, that's about it for this food plot. So I'm gonna hopefully, I was gonna tear into it this Sunday down here at the bottom down there where we're gonna be doing the dozing, but it's gonna be rainy, looks like, all weekend, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that off for another week or so. But I'm just gonna put that all in. Some sort of fluffy green turnips, clover, some sort of forage anyway. And uh, got to do some mowing on some other clover splot, plots that I got. And uh, move a couple stands as well, but uh, we'll save that for another day because it's getting kind of dark off that way. So I'm going to pack her up. I don't want to get my camera all wet. So, if you guys liked the video, give her a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. More updates on more videos. And thanks for watching.